Hello, my name is James Nethery. Welcome to the Banking with Life Q&A series. This is where I answer questions that you have concerning the infinite banking concept. So let's get started. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is upon us. I hope you are enjoying time with your family. The first question is, what do you think of convertible term? Well, I think if you're going to purchase term, that it should be convertible. And convertible term just means that you have the guaranteed right to convert from term to permanent coverage, regardless of your health. This question gets kind of particular on a, on a particular company and a policy structure. I have a term rider, a PUA, and a base premium. If I convert my term, will I be able to add a lump sum upon the conversion of the term into the new permanent policy? And the short answer is yes, if the new permanent policy is designed to do that. And the company allows you, if you have a convertible term policy, you want to know what that company allows you to convert that into. So convertible term is guaranteed to convert regardless of your health. However, some companies restrict how that policy that you're converting into is designed. Can you convert just to a typically structured life insurance policy or can you convert it into a banking structured policy? Every company is different and so you would want, I would think if you're practicing the infinite banking concept, the ability to convert into a banking policy high cash value with a high PUA. What does converting some of my term actually do to my existing policy? Well, the, if you have an existing term or if you have an existing policy with a term rider on it, it was probably put on there by design to raise the death benefit, which raises the MEC modified endowment contract premium limit. So if you convert that, you have to be aware of what it does to your existing policy. Does it drop the death benefit so low that it can cause a mech in the future? Other than that issue, what does it do to your existing whole life policy? It probably limits what you can pay in premium in the future years. This question, upon conversion, does that now increase my monthly premium to my whole life policy and decrease the monthly payment to my term. Well, listen, if you have a whole life policy that has a term rider on it and you're converting the term rider, your premium is going to go down on that one policy, right? You've converted the term. It has its own premium. And then whatever you were paying in total premium on the original policy that's going to go down. That premium will reduce by whatever your term premium was. And it may or may not allow you to put that premium dollar that was paying for the term into the paid up addition rider. It strictly depends on how the policy was designed. And, and I'm addressing these questions because policy design is very important. If I had decided to convert my term to a new whole life policy, since it is an option, will I be able to add a lump sum like I did with my original policy? It depends on how the converted policy is designed. I think I addressed that earlier. Okay, so this, there's a lot of term writer questions here. This is not to be inclusive or, or uh, all encompassing how term is treated, but these are some pretty good questions. and. And if you own a policy that has a term rider constructed on there, you really need to know. So your agent or advisor should know all of these answers or you should know what you can and cannot do with that policy, including the riders that are on that policy. Thank you for watching. If you have a question that you would like an answer to, email us at the email below. And be sure also to like and subscribe and join us weekly for content. Have a great day.